Hi guys, Dante3671 here, and today's review is on Duke Nukem 3D on the PS1. Let's get started. Duke Nukem 3D is a first person shooter on the PS1. It was developed by 3D Realms and published by GT Interactive Software. It was also the sequel to the platform games Duke Nukem and Duke Nukem 2, published by Apogee. Weapons include the Mighty Foot, which is a basic kick attack. Other weapons in the game also include a pistol, a shotgun, a chain gun, a rocket propelled grenade launcher, pipe bombs, freeze and shrink rays, laser trip mines, and the rapid fire devastator. But there is also an extra weapon known as the Expander, which is only available in the Atomic Edition of the game. Other items can be picked up during gameplay, which include a portable med kit, which allows the players to heal Duke at will, steroids, which speed up Duke's movement, as well as instantly reversing the effects of the shrinker. Night vision goggles allow the player to see enemies in the dark. The Holo Duke device projects a hologram of Duke that can be used to distract enemies. Protective boots allow Duke to cross dangerously hot or toxic terrain. Where the game progresses, it requires more underwater leg work, which means you need scuba gear, which allows Duke to take longer trips away from Earth. And finally, Duke's jetpack, which allows the players to move vertically and reach hidden areas in the game. The game features a wide range of monsters, some of which are aliens, others are mutated humans, as is usual for a first person shooter like Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem encounters a large number of lesser foes though, and a small number of boss like enemies. Like Duke, these enemies have access to a wide range of weapons and equipment. Some weaker enemies though have jetpacks. The environment of Duke Nukem is highly destructible and interactive. Most objects can be destroyed by the player. There are a few cutscenes after the completion of an episode. The introduction establishes that the game picks up right after the events of Duke Nukem 2 with Duke returning to Earth in his space cruiser. As Duke descends on LA in hopes for a vacation, a blast rips through from unknown hostiles and critically damages Duke's ship. While sending the distress signal, Duke learns that the aliens are attacking LA and have mutilated the LAPD. With his plans now ruined, Duke hits the eject button and promises to do whatever it takes to stop the alien invasion. Really, Duke Nukem is a great game that offers a lot to show for itself. Did you know that it sold over 3.5 million copies in the first month after its release? Altogether, I give Duke Nukem a total of 9.5 out of 10. Gameplay is flawless and gets 9 out of 10. Graphics are impressive for a game on the PS1, which gives it an 8.5 out of 10. And finally, playability gets 8 out of 10. Well, that's all for my review on Duke Nukem 3D. See you next time. Goodbye.